All right, take two. Your boy G, Pillion Ride. You're with Essential Mrs. G. We're about to do this thing. Let's go. Hi, I'm Essential Mrs. G, doing the Pillion Review from the perspective of the three Ps, perch, pleasure, and plushness. So, I am on the Harley Davidson Full Dresser Road Glide. And let's start with the perch. As far as the perch, it's about the same as the other two full dressers I was on, the BMW Grand America and the Indian Roadmaster. Um, you're just not gonna have a great perch as the passenger. That's what I'm realizing. So it's about the same as far as perch. If you wanna see anything, you kinda have to look to the side. Uh, in terms of pleasure, I'm not getting a lot of wind. It's pretty comfortable that way. Uh, I feel a little bit of a breeze, but it's not like pushing my helmet, which I have experienced on other bikes like the V-Star 1300. There's been times when the wind was like pushing the helmet and it was really uncomfortable. I'm not getting any of that at all on this bike. I have plenty of space. Uh, I don't feel squished in any way. I feel very comfortable. Uh, there's a nice backrest that kind of wraps around, and there's two armrests. So, in terms of the pleasure, I would get, it's, a, it's good pleasure. The BMW had grab rails, which added a level of security that the uh, Roadmaster and uh, this Harley Full Dresser doesn't have. And so, it, the, the security is a little less, but not anything that's significant. This Harley has two armrests. It's pretty comfortable and adds to the security. I don't feel insecure on this bike at all. In terms of the vibration, uh, the BMW Grand America was my favorite as far as vibration because it more purred than vibrated. So it was a very smooth ride for the passenger. The Indian Roadmaster, the vibration felt lower so it didn't really affect me at all. Um, on this Harley, I can feel the vibration of the bike. It's not unpleasant though. I could see some people really liking that aspect if they're looking for a, a visceral experience with a bike where they can really feel that they're on a bike. Uh, I can see a lot of people liking that. I like it more smooth. And in terms of the plushness, uh, the plushness isn't bad. I'm not getting jarred in any way by the bumps on the road. There are some significant bumps on this road. We're in uh, Lakewood, New Jersey. Uh, this bike is from Ocean County, Harley. And uh, uh, the bumps don't bother me at all. I can feel them. I can feel myself uh, 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 going up a little bit from the bumps, but not uncomfortable in any way. So the plushness is good. Uh, on the V-Star 1300, going over these kind of bumps, I would really feel it. It would jar my whole body. Sometimes I would even cry out because I wasn't expecting the bump, and it kind of came as a shock. I haven't experienced that on any of the full dressers. Uh, they're all really good with the plushness. Uh, so I could see myself going for a long distance trip on this bike. And it is pleasurable to be a passenger on this bike. The seat's very comfortable. I like having that backrest that kind of wraps around. Uh, I like that I'm not getting hit really hard with the winds. Um, if I had to choose, I think I would choose the Indian Roadmaster uh, in terms of my personal preference. Harley has its own kind of aesthetic, which is really cool, uh, but I really like the Indian aesthetic. I think that's just like personal preference. And in terms of how it feels, again, personal preference, I like it uh, a little less vibration. But again, I could see some people as a passenger finding that to be a real pleasure of the ride. So that's my review of the pillion on uh, the Harley Davidson full dresser, like, share, and subscribe.